Most home improvement. Proud partner of the Black Information Network. Heavily based on soul music, but incorporating elements ranging from funk, jazz, fusion, hip hop, and African to electronic and pop. The term neo soul emerged in the 90s as a way to define and market.
Black Information Network. The Bay Area's BIN 910. Trending on the Black Information Network, the University of North Carolina grad student accused of killing a faculty member is being held without bond. The faculty member who was killed was identified as an associate professor, CPN. On the Black Information Network. At the U.S. Open in New York, Black tennis sensation Coco Golf called out the chair umpire for allegedly being unfair in her match against Laura Siegman. taking naps during the day and if we are a napper what kind of parameters should we have around nap okay so unfortunately once you've missed out on sleep you've missed no. out on sleep. <laughs> there no. is no catching up <laughs> there is no catching up unfortunately that was another podcast you should know from the black information network staying informed has never been easier Tell your smart device to play the Black Information Network station on iHeartRadio. Entertainment news on the Black Information Network. We've got a new movie alert. The first trailer is being released for the biblical epic, The Book of Clarence. Now, the film tells the story of Clarence, a man intrigued by the influence of Jesus and becomes a messiah for personal gain. It stars Lakeith Stanfield as Clarence as he works to become one of the apostles. The rest of the cast includes Omar Sy, Benedict Cumberbatch, James McAvoy, and singer and actress Tiana Taylor. Jay Z is serving as producer on the film. The Book of Clarence will hit theaters on January 12th, and Shakira is getting a top honor at next month's MTV Video Music Awards. The Colombian superstar will be receiving the Michael Jackson Video Vanguard Award Award and will also be performing. It's her first performance at the awards show in 17 years. The four-time BMA winner received four nods this year for Best Collaboration, Best Latin Place, and Artist of the Year. The BMAs are being held at the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey on September 12th at 8 p.m. Eastern. Also, CBS is set to air a special tribute show to the late Bob Barker. Drew Carey will host The Price is Right, a tribute to Bob Barker on Thursday. It will feature highlights from Barker's time hosting the game show, like his first episode, the first appearance of Plinko, and his final episode when he retired in 2007. The daytime Emmy-winning host passed away at the age of 99 on Saturday. The special will also air during The Price is Right regular time slot on September 4th. With the latest in entertainment at 17 and 47 minutes past each hour, I'm Bree Wood on your home for 24-7 news, the Black Information Network, and BINnews.com. I'm Keith Urquhart on the Black Information Network, John Mercer Langston. 
was the first black man to become a lawyer when he passed the bar in Ohio in 1854. When he was elected in 1855 to the post of town clerk in Brownheim, Ohio, Langston became one of the first African Americans ever elected to public office in America. John Mercer Langston was also the great uncle of Langston Hughes, famed poet of the Harlem Renaissance. The son of a Virginia planter and a slave mother, Langston was emancipated at the age of five, attended school in Ohio, and graduated from Oberlin in 1849. He quickly became a leader among free blacks, and he helped organize the National Equal Rights League, of which he was the first president. And that's a fact. For these stories and more, go to BINnews.com. Black News. The Black Information Network. Big area BIN 910. I'm Doug Davis. And I'm Esther Dillard. On your home for 24-7 News. Black Information Network. Here are your top stories. We have the latest from Jacksonville, Florida. Will everyone be armed? A new criminal is carrying lies in effect in the state. A man convicted of murder and the shooting death of a black off-duty Chicago police officer sentenced to life in prison, and Medicare will start negotiating the price of 10 common prescription drugs as part of efforts to make medications more affordable. These are drugs many black people use. BIN White House correspondent Morgan Wood spoke with black administrator Shakita Brooks for sure about the medication selected for negotiation under the Inflation Reduction Act. The list is everything from eloquence, which is the top sure spending drug, like um, in the Medicare prescription drug benefit, and also includes an insulin. Um, Nova laws, as well as um, several other drugs. She said she hopes the Biden administration can successfully negotiate with drug makers. That's our hope, and we really look forward to having a back and forth with the companies to try to make sure that Medicare gets the best price. President Biden's Inflation Reduction Act allows Medicare to negotiate prices for some of the most costly drugs. Negotiated prices are expected to go into effect in 2026. A gun safety and violence prevention workshop is going on in the Miami area to better explain Florida's new permitless carry law. Something from Peel could be dangerous for African Americans. Black State Senator Shervin Jones thinks the change has nothing to do with gun safety and says it's all political. There's a reason why restrictions were put in place because over over a period of time, we learned more because we learned more we did better. I mean, it seems like we're trying to roll all of these things back. The workshop comes three days after a racially motivated shooting in Jacksonville left three people dead. Black voters ahead of the 2024 general election are taking a closer look at the track record of President Biden. The president has some wins for sure, but BlackEnterprise.com reports black voters feel his administration needs to make African Americans more aware of his achievements. MSNBC asked black Philly Democratic voters if the president has a good shot at re-election. Here's what one voter had to say. I think he should run, but said this, this is going to come down to who they think of um, beat Trump, and he will decide to run. So it's going to come down to a candidate who can beat him, and so far I don't see anybody other but Joe. A recent poll reveals President Biden's approval rating is down six percentage points among people of color. Black Americans are still disgruntled over Biden not being able to improve voting rights laws. We all know the power of Yelp, the consumer review app that allows people to evaluate businesses. Well, get ready for LyingClient.com, which allows business owners to report customers who report false claims. BlackBusiness.com reports African-American entrepreneur Tamara Preacher created the application after her construction management company received a false report from the BBB. The website is so popular, the app Reddit rated her company number one in the country to report scamming customers. I'm Doug Davis along with Esther Dillard on your home for 24-7 News, the Black Information Network. Wow.